Today we're taking a little bit of a break from the iPhone 8 edition hype, hopping onto a different train of hypotheticals that we've seen in a new patent passed by Apple. Actually been passed a couple of times. It's this really interesting idea that I think a couple of companies have messed with. It's the idea that all of our technology, all of our hardware processing power will eventually make our ways into just our phones. And as we need more advanced, more professional devices, our phones will power them. So this more recent patent shows a picture of an iPhone being placed kind of where you usually place the trackpad on some sort of MacBook. And I think the hope here is that the phone's touchscreen would then be a trackpad for said computer. Processor, the RAM, maybe even some of the graphics is powered by your smartphone itself. It's just an interesting idea because it makes you think about, is this really a cheaper option? Because now we don't have to pay for our MacBook with all of its internal specs and then separately pay for our iPhone with all its internal specs. Maybe over time, as that phone gets faster and faster, of course we're talking maybe a decade from now, that phone processor will be easily capable of powering a full desktop operating system like Mac OS for instance. If we can achieve that, does that mean that the MacBook itself won't have to have that much internal specs? Of course it would have some. It would have to have a display that looks pretty good, maybe some added GPU, and of course some battery. But overall, most of the computer itself would be powered by the smartphone. I don't think that's too hard to believe anymore. Especially given the existence of the 12-inch MacBook, which if you've ever looked inside of that thing, the actual computer part of it, you know, the part that's not a battery, basically the size of an iPhone. Now of course that's not a very powerful computer. There's no fan in there. They don't even have Intel i7 core processors, or i5 or i3 for that matter, they're just M processors. It's basically a phone kind of logic board powering the whole laptop. But with Apple software, you can do quite a bit with that laptop. So as years go on, maybe when our iPhones start adapting that A11 chip, the A12, A13, 14, and they're just gonna get faster and faster, it will make sense that we just pay a little bit more for our smartphone, because we all need that, and let all that power in our smartphone that currently is just being used for taking photos and texting people, you know, you don't really need all that speed. Why not open Open up the possibilities of that processor by hooking it up to software that is therefore more powerful, where you have the trackpad, the keyboard, the bigger display, opens up all kinds of opportunities. Now in this same patent, they also demoed the idea of making an iPad attached to some sort of case that would then be your MacBook's monitor, which confuses me even further. Will Apple ever be okay with adding a touchscreen to macOS? If not, does this mean we're gonna have an iPad as our MacBook monitor that does not accept touch input? Are we okay with that? That seems kind of weird. Again, Apple's R&D department is always experimenting with all kinds of different stuff, so we can't easily say these are confirmed products because they've passed patents like this in the past. But I really like the idea of just having one device that has all of our storage on. Imagine this, okay? You're a video editor like me. You want to edit all your projects down. So when you're done filming your video, you slide your iPhone right into that trackpad location on your MacBook. That phone powers the MacBook. You've got all your footage, all of your files are stored on your iPhone. Then when you're done making your project on there, you just take the phone out. Your completed footage, your projects are all stored stored in your pocket. Now, wherever you go, you don't have to store this big laptop that can stay in one place. You can go elsewhere and take all those files with you. Our iPhones already do so much, let's just keep coming up with more ideas of how we can store all of our content on there. They're always in our pockets anyway. So imagine now in a few years when I have this in my pocket, this can have all my work, all my casual stuff, and there can be other devices out there that accept the iPhone kindish slide-in thing where it can start reading everything that's on there and you can run the power off of it as in processing RAM graphics. That way, we've got our whole life stored right on here if we didn't have too much of it already. That way if you lose this, you lose everything. But don't worry, we'll have cloud storage not to worry about. So this new patent is pretty interesting to me. I'm curious what your thoughts on it are. I personally would love to see this happen in about a decade or so. I don't think we're ready for it, but I'm very curious given Apple's R&D department is working on something a little bit like this, enough to the point where they need to make patents on it. Of course, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.